video I'm going to show you how I create my activity check-in that I use in literacy. So for um, reading and writing this week I have implemented a Google Form check-in. So what I wanted to do is to continue giving my students choice but I really wanted to track what they are doing in the classroom and there are other ways that you could do this most definitely this is the way that I have got it going. My real one looks slightly different but I can't show you my real one because it's got children's names and due to privacy and things I've sort of recreated it here to show you just slightly different with slightly different characters. So what it is, it's a two-part Google form and my students access it via QR code. So I get the link for the form up here and I turn it into a QR code for students to scan. And what it looks like is the first part asks who is doing the check-in. So on my class one, I have pictures of all of my students. For this example, I've just got some characters off Google. And then I have all of the activities that my students can choose from for the session. And they'll all be down here, which they choose. So the idea is that students come along, they choose their name, they choose their activity that they're doing, they push submit, then they go off to that activity. And the next person comes along, chooses their name, chooses their activity, pushes submit, and off they go. And they do this continually throughout the lesson to keep track of what they're doing uh, and so that I can check in and see who's done what for the day and who perhaps hasn't done something. And what I really like about this is that they get to choose what they're doing in their session. And this is also practicing using Google Forms, which is something that we've used a lot in our classroom. So I'm just going to show you how to create or how to add in your own sections. So these are using two different types of questions. Sorry, the same, two different questions, the same type. So the first one is a multiple choice. And I've inserted images here next to the characters. So I will just show you how to add another one. So type in the name of the character. Um, I'm going to save my picture first and I then am going to click on add image and I'm going to add the image that I am adding on for students to choose. So you could have um, real photos, you could have cartoon images, you could have anything that you would like to represent them. And if you do use the wrong image, you can simply just push across and it will delete the image that you just had on. Same thing comes down here. So there's the activities and I have each of the activities as a picture form for students to choose from. So same process, I can create a new one and add in the name of the activity and insert a picture. For this Google form, I also have it so that it is a required question, which means students cannot push submit unless they have chosen a person and also chosen an activity. And that means that they must have a selection in both boxes for it to be uploaded in the evidence on the Google form. So when I'm done, I just can click preview here and it will show me a preview of the questions. I've added a special guest in case I have someone new that's in on my classroom for the day, perhaps a different student, a student that's um, looking around the classroom, that's a little learner, which is our preschool visitors, and then um, the activities underneath. So to turn this into a QR code, you can grab your link from up here, copy that. You're then going to go to QR code generator. Now you can use any QR code generator that you would like. This is one that I use. You're going to paste your link, choose your design that you would like, download that. And when it, so it's still generating, and when it has downloaded, it will appear at the bottom there. 
and then you just simply print that out and have that for our students to be able to access. And this saves them from typing in a code um, and it takes them to the quick links to where you need to go. So I hope this has helped show you how to create your own activity check-in. Of course, you could do this with other technology and other ways, but this is what I have got for my students.